Hey YouTube, just a quick video here on how to install the new uh, parts cooling fan on the King Room 3D printer. As you can see, I've already taken off the stock shroud off the uh, off the hot end. It was two screws, one here, one here. Take off those two screws, turn it around. There's four screws holding on the stock fan for the hot end. I've taken took those off. Put it, I've mounted it onto my um, my new hot end, the shroud here that I've got uh, 3D printed. But before I put it back on, what I've got to do is you're going to see the heater core and the uh, thermistor come down on the left hand side. You're going to have to move it over onto the right hand side like I've got it here. The way you do that is there's a tiny little set screw. Um, it's the same size as this guy here, but it's underneath. It's actually right, right here in the middle of the heater block. Undo it. The heater block will pull out. The thermistor will pull, pull out as well. Not going to take much force. If you need to pull, 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 and there's something wrong, you're going to break something. Um, it should pull out nice and easy. Pull it out. Put it over onto this side. Tighten up the Allen key down below. Nice and snug. Uh, and then you're good to go. Then all you have to do is... Take your new shroud up over the top. Install your new screws. Okay, so now I forgot to mention you are going to need some new screws. Uh, you, what I've got a list here is I've got two M3s by 20, four M3s by 12, two M3s by 8, and six M3 nuts. All right, I'll leave a... Um, I'll leave a list in the description uh, down below. You're also going to need uh, the part, new part cooling fan. This is a 50, 15, 24 volts. Uh, there's a bunch of these on Amazon. Take your pick. Uh, read the reviews. Do your due diligence. Some have better reviews than others. I've used some that have lasted months on end and others only last a couple of weeks. So just go through the reviews and see what's working right now. Uh, okay, so next you're going to need your fangs for your new shroud. Uh, these guys here, you're going to put the one one of the M3 nuts in here, one of the other M3 nuts in there, one M3 nut in this side of the uh, hot end shroud, and one M3 nut down here. You're going to pop the new, new shroud on. This screws in from on the side. I'm only going to put in one for now just to speed up the video because... I don't want it to take too long. That guy's going to go on the side. Tighten into the nuts, obviously. Just like that. Now, before you go ahead and put your fan on, you're going to want to look down below and try and adjust the height of the... Uh, the height of the fangs so that they're not too low get a good idea it's not the end of the world but if you can just just do it before you put the other part on or the other fan on sorry sorry so of course the fan goes on these are the 20s they just screw in here one on that side one on the other and you're back in business um i added a little zip tie over here you'll see after you're done this moves around a little bit. I just added this little zip tie just over the top, just like so, um, just to give it a little bit more restraint here. I just wrapped the whole wire. The, the wire that came on this 5015 fan is long enough to go all the way down through your cable wrap, all the way back to the, the main board and tie you back in. So you shouldn't need any extra wires. Now, whoops. Now, um, what you have to do to get the screen shroud off, I'll show you here. You're gonna need to take out these two screws back here. They just unscrew and they'll slide up and pull out. You're gonna have to take off, sorry, these two screws down here. Now they do have T-nuts. Just unscrew them, let the T-nuts fall down. You're taking the shroud off. You'll be able to pull them off anyways. You're also going to take off five five screws down below. One here. A little bit too high. Hang on a second. One here. 
one here, one there, one there, and one down here between these two. And that's it. Once you got those out, your whole top shroud should just pull off like that. Nice and simple. What I've done is now I pull the bed forward and I'm going to spin it around, make it easier for you guys to see here. Okay. So what I did is, of course, I've disconnected the power from my bed, put that off to the side. Oh, one quick note, when you take the shroud off, take your SD card out. I don't want you to wreck your SD card taking that shroud off just in case. Now, if you can see, I'm just going to reposition you here. Um, I'm looking down to see if we can't get a better. There, that's a little bit better. Okay, there's a little wiring harness that they've got here. Holding on to the board. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a little better there. Okay, this is the harness right here. You can loosen these two guys off. I've run the wire down through here. And it's gone down and back onto the board. Now, over here on the side, I don't know if you can see this here. There it is. Uh, this is where your heater core comes in, right here. I believe that's the heater core anyways. I can't tell them right now. But this space here is going to be empty. There's going to be nothing in it. It's going to actually, it's going to look just like this. Hang on. Move you a little closer. So it's going to look just like this. The two two ports it's wide open there's not nothing plugged into it your new fan is probably going to come with a connector on the end just like so and it's going to connect right into this guy right here now the fan that i got what happened was this this red wire focus this red wire was on this side and the black was on that side what you got to do is just Push in here gently with a small screwdriver and pull the wire out. Do the same on this side. And then just swap the two wires. And then the wiring harness will fit right in properly. And then just plug it back in. I've put some hot glue on there just in case. I, it's just something that I always do, but you don't really have to. It's not really necessary. Um, your fan might come wired the right way. If not, it's probably, it's not a real big deal. If you plug it in the wrong way, it's just, it's not going to work and it's going to warm up real fast. So just keep an eye on it. What I did now is, uh, I'll t I tightened down these guys again. So with this cable, as I ran this cable through right here, um, it's not very tight and still loose, but it's at least in, in place. Um, now before I closed, before I closed everything back up, I moved everything off to the side, just like so. Just move it around. Move it back up. So I moved everything back to the side. Put my shroud off the edge, made sure nothing was touching, and I plugged it back in. I tried, tested it out. I turned on the fan. Did it on the 100, did it on the 50, made sure it ran. Uh, that's actually how I found out that the wires were the wrong way. It does have um, markings on the board, plus and minus, negative and positive. I, I didn't even look. I didn't even see them the first time. I just assumed that it was wired up correctly, and I plugged it in. Of course, the fan got nice and warm, and nothing happened. So I switched them around, and then it worked perfectly fine. Uh, okay. Once you're done, all you have to do is make sure your wires are nice and tidy. Slide your fan, or sorry, slide your cover back on. Easier said than done. Slide your cover back on. Install your screws again. Um, of course, plug the bed back in. Um, I would test everything once more and then before you do anything I would just make sure that I level the bed re-level the bed one more time make sure everything's good then have a look make sure that your fangs aren't too too far down they're not sitting below um, below your hot end nozzle 
just take a straight edge, whatever you've got, put them on your fangs. Make sure that the hot end is actually sticking down below the shroud or below the fang fangs, um, and you'll be good to go. This this little upgrade actually works really well. I've actually done a little parts test. I'm not too sure where it is. There's a picture on the um, on the Facebook group uh, for King Rune. Um, it it did excellent on the overhangs and it, on the bridges as well. So I I do recommend it as an upgrade. It's seems to me like it's quite simple and uh, it's going to get you much better prints. All right, if you liked, um, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, let me know. Um, and send me some comments. Let me know if you need any more videos or if you want to see something different. And we'll go from there. I got a couple of ideas of different things to print on this machine. So coming up soon, we'll see what we can do. All right. Thanks a lot. And uh, till the next time. Cheers.